Enjoy the moment with your loved ones. Don't fight over materialistic things. Don't ever fight over materialistic things. Don't ever argue about materialistic things. Don't ever compare yourself to anyone else. You are you and no one can be you and neither you can be anyone else. This is God's creation. This is God's will for you. He's given you your identity, your unique ID. No one else has. The fingerprint which you have out of the almost 8 billion people that live on the face of this planet, no one has your fingerprint. And then somebody comes and says, something exploded over 13.5 billion years ago and everything came into existence. Mother Nature created it all. In Assyrian, no, I won't say that. God gave you this unique ID. You know why? Because when you love, you love that person. That's it. You're, you're my heart. You're my love. Period. There's no more room. Adam, your wife is Eve. You can't have any more of Uv. If you're going to bring Eve and this and that, and well, what kind of a heart is this? That not even a tomato sauce is like that. Your heart has only one place. This is God's law. One wife, not more. Because if you say, I love you and I love you the same, you're lying. <laughs> There's only one place. There's only one place. The Western world, or maybe it's time, the Western world has put a system in place where it takes you away from God. I, I've said this and I'll say it again. In the, in the East or the Middle East, they kill the body. In the West, they kill the spirit, not the body. And this is the ultimate death because if they kill the body, the spirit survives. But if they kill the spirit, the body is already dead. So who is dead? When the spirit dies, that person is dead, not when the body dies. And what kills the spirit? Pride. 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 This, which the Holy Bible calls Satan, what is he? Spirit, angel. And he was the highest rank in the angelic order. The highest rank. What made this highest angelic order to fall from the highest place to the lowest place? Pride. It's about me. The Western world, if you notice, will never talk about family value, all about individualistic lifestyle. It's all about you. Look at the ads. It's all about you. You want to look good? You want to lose some weight? You want to do this? It's all about you. Have you ever seen any program on media, on mainstream media? Have there been any program speaking about family bond? Never. You will never find that. Why? Because what makes the spirit live is the family, not individual. Family. But in the West, they come to this teenager, they have no idea their right hand from their left hand. They have nothing, no, no knowledge of what life is all about. They say, listen, when you're 16 and you want to leave home, the government will support you. And then they say, well, because there is domestic violence, but where is the education missing? Have we educated the parents? No, because the parents, when they were children, they were not educated on how to be successful parents. It was missing in the educational system because 
money talks and love walks away what we need to do in order to have a successful prosperous healthy happy society is family value family this is what's missing in the Middle East that's where I come from and I'm proud yeah, but I'm proud to be an Aussie as well I've said it and I'll say it again I will always pray for my beloved country Australia till the day I die I will always pray for my beloved country Australia but I will never never ever deny my Assyrian heritage I come from Iraq and I'm proud to be an Iraqi born just like all of you Lebanese Italians Chinese Vietnamese whatever country you come from you should be proud but love this country because this country also opened the doors and embraced you but in the Middle East we were always taught that when any visitor comes into the house you do not come out of your room until mommy or daddy call you to come and say hello respect respect someone who's older than you you don't look up to them when you address your parents you look down respect you see this is missing this is missing that's why we've lost track of everything else around us we've lost track where is that love where is that respect because the West teaches you you are free you go and do as you wish don't let anyone tell you otherwise Human rights, value, human purpose, family, family. Seven thirty-four. I think it's a bit cold now. Um, you know, it's. Um, I think Father Isaac, you need to come to the rescue. Um, I was going to say something. Good times go quickly. Difficult times, you want them to run, they are stagnant there. They park. Uh, speaking of park, you know, some Middle Eastern countries, when they come to learn English, there is the letter B for Bob or Bob in the American accent and there is the P for Peter so they mix them so when they come to pronounce the P they pronounce it B when they come to pronounce the B they pronounce it P that one day I remember at school the teacher said I'm not gonna leave you until you pronounce it correctly he gave up he said you are able to pronounce P why aren't you saying it when it comes to it so when it came to Peter Peter when it came to Bob pop <laughs> so anyway one day this guy's driving around in Fairfield where street got a busy street in Fairfield so there's no parking so he went around and around and around and finally he found a spot he wasn't sure if he was able to park he saw a few guys standing there talking to each other so he brought the window down and he said, excuse me. I said, yes. He said, can I bark here? <laughs> they said, please, you can bark for as long as you want. <laughs> it's a problem when you mispronounce the word. It's a problem. <laughs> I want you to laugh a bit it's all good you know there is not much laughter in our life nowadays it's very rare and it comes every now and then and you know so we need to laugh sometimes I never believe um, even when you are a Christian and a, a true believer of the Lord Jesus you need to have uh, a very simple approach 
don't ever complicate things don't ever think by covering your head and and locking yourself behind the doors and praying fervently and bash beating against your chest and fasting and doing that you think that this is the way to the Lord Jesus no. you could be fasting you could be praying while talking to people and joking with people yeah the Lord came to make it simple not complicated the Lord came to set you free not bound you he set you free it is okay to love even your good-looking bishop it is okay to joke it is okay but when you do it with love because the Lord is joy and happiness you can't sit with the Lord and be grumpy you can't be with the Lord and be miserable I always say to people that work and serve in the church when when people come from outside into the church and they see these committee members all standing and you greet them and you say hello sir yeah, hello yeah. if they don't see a smiley face welcoming people they're gonna say there is something wrong here well if Jesus Christ is happiness these people definitely are not so they're not with the Lord then so they need to go somewhere else and find a happy place a welcoming place so we need to be happy we need to be joyous no matter how much problems we have and obstacles and heavy burdens we, we are we need to put a smile when we come and speak with the Lord and for the Lord amen so be happy thank the Lord for everything um, doesn't matter what is happening life is hard my situation is difficult leave everything in the Lord's capable hands and trust him trust him trust him he may not change your situation but he will definitely change you to overcome the situation yeah so if you keep on focusing on the situation the Lord is changing you you've missed out Trust the Lord and let him work the way he knows how to work. Amen. Beautiful. Give everything to the Lord Jesus and say, Lord, nothing is mine. Everything is yours. Don't hold on to anything because it is not yours. At the end, we came empty handed from our mother's wombs and we will go back to our mother earth also empty-handed nothing is ours don't ever let anyone including Satan to deceive you and say to you this is yours fight for it hold on to it don't let anyone take it away from you the only thing you fight for and hold on to with your own blood is Christ the King Christ the King. He is your only portion. This is where you belong. Everything else matters not. As church leaders, we should never fight for thrones. We should never fight for positions, for authority, for rulership all of us are followers none of us are leaders the leader is Christ from the highest rank to the smallest rank are all followers of the Lord and if any church leader who is supposed to be a follower of the Lord tries to be the leader he will destroy himself and the flock with him because Satan can devour anyone and everyone no matter how wise how intelligent how powerful you are nothing stands in the wisdom of Satan outside of Christ we need the Lord Jesus to make it to the shores of peace and to the heaven of all heavens
on earth when I had nothing I was free don't let any materialistic things enslave you thank the Lord for what you have and for who you are and the way you look okay my daughter you are beautiful a beautiful the way you are don't let any doctor touch your nose don't let if they want to use the hammer and the chisel let them use it on their nose not your nose and let nobody's nose knows what you're doing Thank the Lord, my beloved. Thank the Lord. Uh, you can register. There is an official homepage, which is cgsc.org.au forward slash OJIC, which is One Jesus International Conference. Uh, that's the page, official page. cgsc.org.au forward slash OJIC. And you can see all the information there as well, my beloved. One other thing, please be mindful of the fraud accounts. Nowadays, they're becoming even more advanced using AI technology. Unfortunately, they are imitating me, my voice, my looks, everything. And apparently, I've been asking for money to build orphanages around the world. It's not me. Please do not donate to such fraud accounts. I beg you maybe take this snippet out of this whole lecture and share it with people when you see it on YouTube just cut it out if you can I don't know and then just share it to everyone I don't have these kind of accounts never had so I don't ask for money I don't ask for money at all anybody comes and claims to be Bishop Mari or Marmari or whatever name they've given me you see me talking it's not me it's just an AI imitation thanks to the AI look I don't need an AI all I need is an I I don't need the AI I have I have the Alpha and the Omega who's gonna give me the I back so it's not an AI, it is an AO, Alpha and Omega. So forget about AI. Okay, so it's not me. I never do that. If I ask, I'll ask for a big chunk. You either go big or you go home, as they say. <laughs> um, the last thing is, uh, we have this beautiful charity which we've been helping uh, people all around the world and in Australia as well uh, the Good Samaritan Aid Society GSAS G -S -A -S dot org dot au, Good Samaritan Aid Society we provide food hampers we provide shelter we provide a lot of support financial support for people in Australia and abroad uh, we have we sponsor over around 400 children in 10 about 10 countries now over 400 children and there's about a thousand families in those 10 countries and we want to expand on that so tax time is coming if you can donate a tax deductible donation to the good samaritan aid society it is greatly 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 appreciated there is the flyer those who are home please if you can share it uh, with other people that you know um, and whatever amount you can donate it is absolutely greatly appreciated uh, I can assure you I can assure you you have no idea how many people are praying for you because the help is reaching them the help is reaching them there are families that we go out and help literally have nothing they can go to sleep fully empty stomach nothing 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 very bad very bad so that dollar that you donate or you contribute goes a long way you have no idea so please tell everyone about it share it with everyone and the more support we have the more people we can help we started I remember less than a year ago 
Less than a year ago, we started with 10 children. Now we have over 400 children. 400 children. And, and every month, financial support goes to them. Every month. So, if you can help, it would be absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Um, that's it. That's it from me. I spoke a lot. But you know what? I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I thank the Lord for all of you in the church and those who are watching us through live streaming. Um, I thank you for your praise. I thank you for your, uh, for your love for the Lord Jesus. Um, for coming to the church and listening to the word of the Lord. Uh, you have no idea how much I gain courage and strength and energy from you. I wait for the time to come to be with you. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I love you. I love you beyond words could ever express. And I pray the Lord Jesus to bless you all. Bless your families. Bless your loved ones. Always deliver you from every harm that is visible and invisible. May the Lord Jesus put the enemy under your foot. May the Lord Jesus set you free from whatever, whatever problems, obstacles, bondage you are having and going through. May the Lord set you free. May the Lord bring you ever more closer to Him. May the Lord reveal Himself to you where you are searching for Him. May the Lord come and grant you your wish. May the Lord make life easier for you. May the Lord show you the way always. May the Lord fill you with His love, with His mercy, with His kindness, with His wisdom, infinitely, for He is the infinite God. May the Lord always embrace you and let you feel His presence, Holy Presence, and not only feel it, but live it, literally see it. And this is why I keep on talking because I don't want you to go home. Because the moment you go and then I go, then I'm, I have to look and wait for the next flight. And I wait and I wait. Sometimes it's very long. Sometimes it's a very lonely wait. Don't think the person who's talking to you is having it easy. Don't. But there is one thing. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This will be forever. Jesus. Jesus Christ. person who asked that question earlier I want to see the Lord how can I get closer to him how can I get closer to him remember this my beloved remember this you don't need to get closer to him because he's already gotten closer to you and you probably heard this from me before I'll say it and I don't know maybe for the last time I'm not sure one day I was at home going through an extremely difficult time, unbearable. It was a, a spiritual dryness, wilderness. So I was walking around inside the house and I'm begging the Lord, I want to see you. Where are you? Why aren't you coming? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And I'm going in circle like crazy, unbearable. I was going through hell. Then the voice came in that unbearable moment. And you know what? It takes a white bead to recognize if it's the voice of the Lord or if it's someone else's. You can tell after your bead goes white. You know, it takes a long time. So when his voice came, 
when he taught me how to recognize his voice, I, re I realized it was his voice 100%. And he said, why are you looking for me? Remember, when you look at yourself, you see me because I am you. The day I died on the cross and purchased you with my own blood, you became me and I became you. So next time you look at yourself, you better recognize Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for you are made in the image and the likeness of God. And Jesus Christ is God.